हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर 50 प्रोजेक्ट्स इन 50 डेज सीरीज टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू आवर फिफ्थ प्रोजेक्ट्स वेयर वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ स्टनिंग ब्लरी रोडिंग स्क्रीन यूजिंग एचटीएमएल सीएसएस एंड जावास्क्रिप्ट लोडिंग स्क्रीन आर ऑफन ओवरलुक बट दे आर एन एसेंशियल पार्ट्स ऑफ आवर यूजर एक्सपीरियंस विद दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी विल टेक loading screen to the next level let's start by setting up the html structure for our loading screen the first step is to create a simple html structure that will serve as the foundation of our loading screen so let's get started with our html code So guys, let's get understand what we have written in our HTML file. So in this project, there is no fancy uh, kind of coding we have done in our HTML file. There is only one section tag and one div tag. You all know what is div tag and what is meaning the div tag. The one new things that uh, we have observed the section tag. In HTML, a section is a semantic element for creating standalone section in our web pages. This section should be made related content like contact information or anything that you have to made a section in your web page in the next we will apply css style to create a visually appealing and blurry effect and it's time to bring our loading screen to live with css we will add stylish effects that will make it visually appealing by applying css properties like gradients animation transition we can create a blurry and mesmerizing loading effect these visual elements will keep your viewers engaged while they wait for your website loading So guys, let's get understand what we have written in our CSS file. As usual, we have imported the Google APIs like the Google font for our web page. This is the asterisk and we, this uh, CSS will be applied to every element in the web page. This is our body tag. We are in the body tag. We have given this CSS, the font family and the display properties. These properties are useful for centralizing the content height will be uh, will have we have given the 100 viewport height overflow is hidden this is our bg class in the bg class we have given the background the background image we have given the url in the url we have paste the link of the image you can get this image from unsplash.com so these are all the short form these are the, the short form of uh, properties in css we cover the background position size and background repeat so short form properties for setting most background properties at the same place in the style sheet that is what we are doing here so position absolute and top left minus 30 px and this is the width and height like calc this is also important to uh, understand what is calc 
सो इन सी एस एस द कैल्क फंक्शन परफॉर्म से कैलकुलेशन टू बी यूज एज ए प्रॉपर्टी वैल्यू टू बी मोर अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कैल्क सो वी आर गोइंग टू ब्राउजर एंड लेट्स गेट अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम हियर सो यू कैन सी हियर लाइक द कैल्क लेट्स यू परफॉर्म द कैलकुलेशन वेयर द वेयर वेन स्पेसिफाई सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टी वैल्यू इट कैन बी यूज लेंथ फ्रिक्वेंसी एंगल टाइम्स परसेंटेज नंबर और इंटीजर वैल्यूज सो दिस कुड बी ए मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन ऑलवेज इफ यू क्लिक ऑन यू कैन सी दैट द विथ इज चेंजिंग दिस इज वॉट द कैल्क इज यूज दिस इज द सिंटैक्स ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी ओके सो कैल्क एंड इन द कैल्क इज ऑलवेज ए एक्सप्रेशन so this is what about the calc so we can see here the z index property also so you know what what is z index so z index is used to overlap one element over a another element so more precisely we will go in on to the website of w3c school on this website there is a example of z index and given a minus 1 so if we remove the one here you can see the changes here you can see the image is front to the text and if we give minus 1 and run the project the uh, the image will be back side of the text that is why the g index property is used the next one is our class is loading text we have given the loading text of 50 px and the color is white so this is what in our css file we have written the code now let's add some interactivity using javascript we will make the loading screen dynamic and engaging using the javascript so let's get understand what we have written in our javascript file first we have create a variable of const load text and get a loading text from our html file then same method we are using the document dot query selector and get a selector or element of background then we have initialize the load text and give the value zero then we have using the let int set interval and pass the function blurring that is this and the timing so you may wonder what is set interval and clear interval so these are the timers in javascript so set interval method calls function at a specified intervals in milliseconds and the set interval method continue calling the function until the clear interval is called or the window is closed so <coughs> about the same the clear interval method clears a timer set with the set interval methods to get more understand how this work in the browser we will go to 
W3 school here we can see the example of set interval if we reload the browser and then run it you can see that the hello world is adding every one second so this is a set interval this is a display hello method and we are passing it here in the first parameter and then the second we are passing the timing so each every one second the hello will be added to the string you can see that so this is for the set interval and about the clear interval so if we reload the browser and run the project you can see the timer is start okay so these are the timer function and these are the stop function the timer is start if we click on the stop time what happen we are clearing the interval and passing the interval of that set interval so this these are the function we are passing in here and stopping the interval so this is how the set interval work and the clear interval work in the browser then we can see here we are getting the load text by using the javascript this is the inner text and passing the value of load this is what is this load we will incrementing it every time like 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 10 100 so this is what the loading text will be shown and this is the way how we in javascript we can modify our css in javascript like loading text dot style opacity background dot style filter these are the properties opacity filter these are the css properties and we are using the scale function here we will get in a detail what we have written in our scale function so the purpose of scale function is to map a value num from an input range defined by the in underscore min and in underscore max to an output range defined by out underscore min and out underscore map it performs this scaling operation using a linear interpolation formula in the first line load text dot style dot opacity is set to the scaled value of load using the scale function it maps the input range 0 to 100 to the output range 1 comma 0 representing opacity values the resulting opacity values is applied to the opacity css properties of the load text element in the second bg dot style that filter is set to a css blur filter value that correspond to the scaled value of load it maps the input range of 0 to 100 to the output range 30 comma 0 representing the amount of blur applied to the background element the resulting blur value is interpolated as a pixel value in css blur function this is why we are using the scale function in our blurring function so congratulations guys we have just completed our fifth project the blurry loading i hope you must like this project and the explanation of the code we have written join us in the next video as we continue our 50 projects in 50 days journey don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest projects thank you for watching and we will see you in the next project